cancer journey. I'd like to thank you all for watching. Uh, today I'm going to be finishing up talking about my uh, tinnitus. I'm not going to go too into it. Well, I probably don't. Oh, I probably will. I will be going completely off track of all my notes, but let's get into it and um, we'll see how it goes. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it and I hope this video can help you. Now I know that I can get the support to uh, help with my tinnitus and it's not incurable, um, I'm going to be going to my doctors with a list of some of the treatments that you can use and trying to get them to give me some of, help me to get some of the treatment to try and cure my tinnitus because my tinnitus is causing my hearing loss but for me it's a bit more complicated because um, I, I had brain surgery which left me with brain damage and my brain's rewired itself as much, that's why I say rewired itself around, that's what it does, around the scar tissue and does its best to be able to send those messages um, like not that can't get through the scar tissue, it rewires itself around it and those messages get sent through. But mine, I don't know whether, I I don't know, maybe it's all attached and that's why I can't get rid of my tinnitus. Um, I need to do more research with my doctor and stuff. I need to talk to my doctor more. Um, but it's very hard for me to explain things because of my brain damage, so I write things down and then I don't get enough time at the doctors to be able to explain and I just get fobbed off because um, they, it, it's easier for them to just say, look, this is just how it is and try and offer you some tablets to deal with it. That's not a way of doing it. Don't do that because that's the way that I went down and I will get into that soon drugs and the treatment and uh, not having any plan. They put you on all these drugs and then they have no plan of how to get you off of them. But I'll go into that later on. I just want to explain what I got told, what I can remember getting told about my tin why I've got my tinnitus. And it was because there's, um, I got the uh, plut plut plutonium based um, drug called cisplatin again and it made the little hairs in my ears that apparently pick up the sound waves and turn and then the brain turns them into the actual the, the noise so um, they hadn't grown back and uh, that was causing my inner eardrum to spasm and stuff which was causing the tinnitus um, and the, uh, apparently it's never they've never grown back properly and that's why I have hearing problems and still have tinnitus but research that I've done now it's not it's nothing to do with your ears tinnitus it's in the brain so I need to go back to my doctors like I said and, and deal with it that way but I just wanted to explain a bit about um, well, this is what I got explained to me about tinnitus and why my stress level, I, I feel stressed from it all the time because it's just relentless. It's got a lot better over the years, but when I first went to see someone about it, um, they basically told me that we've all got like a level of stress and, and normality, I mean, and like things make us go up and down and basically people with tinnitus, like all these little annoying things that people have, people with tinnitus, it's increased so much. Our stress levels are already, this is an example, like when people say, oh, that I'm, it's, I'm stressed through the roof. People with tinnitus are already there. They're right on the edge. So a tiny little thing can trigger them to be, oh, I can't, it's too much. I'm stressed out too much. And it's really, that's, it's really debilitating having that because it 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 makes me feel bad sometimes um but there's a lot of things that I've been left with that have affected me in a negative way and over the years um and 
up to current day, I'm still coping with them and getting, trying to get help. But doing these videos are really helping me. Um, I mean, doing some research, finding out that I might be able to get treatment to help with my tinnitus. How that's a, that's awesome, and I wouldn't have done that if I hadn't have been doing these videos for you. And it's great because I hope it can help you too. I'll just tell you a little bit about what my tinnitus is like for me. So. My tinnitus is just a high-pitched ringing constantly and um, it, it feels like there's something inside my ears and um, I get like popping and weird swishing noises and it really affects my balance because um, apparently what I got told is we've all got like spirit levels in our ears of fluid that help us balance and my spirit levels are completely screwed from the chemotherapy so I don't have very good balance as well and uh, I think that I don't know I'm, I'm going to see about the treatment with the tinnitus and stuff but I think that some of the inner ear stuff and the balance and that I think um, there's there's not much that can be done about that it's just I just the ringing in my ears is just unbelievable. Like I said before, I would, if I could get a megaphone and put it to my ear and, or touch someone and they could just hear it for a second, I wouldn't do it for longer than that because I wouldn't want them to go for it any longer than that. It's really, really bad. Uh, I just had to carry on though. I had to get on. I've got my life back which, in a way, I've got my life back. I'll get into that, but I, I, uh, I, I didn't have any support or anything to come to terms with any of these things. <laughs> Sorry. And I didn't engage as well. So, how, I suppose, how would I get any of the support if I didn't engage? And... Um, I've been speaking to great people through Facebook um, testicular cancer awareness page, and uh, I've le I've I've just put stuff on there, and people have messaged stuff, and it's just made me feel a lot better about I'm not alone, and that's what I want my videos to make people feel that they're not alone, because it is really amazing when you when you get that feeling, it's like gives you a little boost and. Uh, I hope you get that from these videos. For me, I try to keep myself busy and occupied all the time so that I'm not thinking about my tinnitus because if I just sit, um, so I sit and try and play a computer game, I feel sick within minutes and I can't play it, I just can't cope. Um, I, yeah, there's a lot of things that my tinnitus affects as well. I get, I never used to get car sickness, I get car sickness, um, but all together with everything, with my balance and stuff, it's just overwhelming at some point. So if I keep myself going and I try not to think about it, I just somehow manage to get on. And that's what I've learned to do over 10 years of battling with all sorts of health problems and things like that but what can you do you've got to fight on um you know what i mean life's there to be lived and we're living it i'm living it um i'm sat here today making this video i'm gonna go out and take my dog for a walk in a little bit well she didn't she's asleep she didn't hear that thank god um yeah we've, we've got to get on uh, it is it is hard having that ringing and stuff, but finding things that you can do to to occupy your mind so you're not thinking about it. So you can, anything. Music is great, is a great way of like blocking it out. I quite often, if I go shopping into busy places, um, I put on my headphones and I just go around because all the noise, I get so stressed out of all the noises going on in there and my, and my tinnitus as well. 
So if I put my headphones in when I go and do things like that, see, over the years, I've learned to do these things. How can I cope with going to do a shop? And it's been really hard on my own, really hard on my own. But I'm here today making these videos and I love it. And I'm just, every video, like I say, I'm emptying away out of my rucksack. So yeah, but yeah, good days I do that, but obviously I have bad days and uh, bad days, I can't stop thinking about it and it just, it's constantly going on it, like I can't stop and I can't focus on anything. Today's a bit like that, um, finding it hard to focus on things and stuff, but I want to get this video out there and uh, continue uploading. It might not be the bestest of videos I've made, but it's a video and it's it could help someone. So, yeah. Uh, but, yeah, on my bad days, I can't focus on anything. And uh, my hearing gets worse. Like, I'm constantly... <laughs> if I can't see someone's mouth, then I can't hear them properly as well so uh, like my my mum she's constantly telling me when we go for a coffee or something to be be quiet because I talk so loud because I can't hear my own voice so I talk louder so that I can and uh, that's something that that's another annoying thing that I do that I just put up with hey I mean, I've, I've had cancer, I've got tinnitus, um, who cares, I, 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 I'm still here, that's how I think of it anyway. <laughs> you know what I mean? If they knew, then they'd understand, and if they don't, I can explain to them. So, Thank you for watching today, I, I hope this has been of some help, and uh, if you haven't already, um, subscribe, uh, hit the like button if you like it, if you don't like it, hit hit the thumbs down and let me know why I, and what I could do to make it a bit better. Um, there's things I'm working on constantly, looking at the camera, I need to do that more, I know, um, stop saying um, there's lots of things that I'm working on behind the scenes and I'm not filming, making teaching myself how to do things on the computer, making thumbnails for my channel, and making my channel look more um, inviting for people. So, and I'm having to watch videos on how to do things, and there's lots of research going into it, but I, I can't thank you enough for the support and watching these videos. So if you could share them, if you know anyone that might be able to get something from one of these, share it to them and uh, let, let them know that they can, they can comment and I will comment back and I, we can start talking because it, it, talking is key. Uh, I've been trying to work on the next subject as well, which is quite hard thinking what to do next. And uh, I was thinking about talking about medication and just uh, medication and, just, and the fact that you just take it. And you, at the time, you just take it because you've got no choice, you're going to die otherwise, so you just take it. And then, then when you get told you're in remission and you leave, there's, there's nothing, there is, well, there wasn't anything set up and it's been a battle for me with a lot of medications and I want to sort of get into that, I think. I think that's important because um, pharmaceuticals and how addictive some of them can be when you get told oh, you, that you got to take this for, for that. You trust that you, you t you're taking it for that, but really I think there's other ways that you could do. Like I've, I've realised that there are other things that you can do, like rather than taking something to try and stop you from focusing on the tinnitus, there's treatments that you can go and do to completely cure you of it. And um, that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna leave it there and uh, 
and I love you and leave you. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe and hit the thumbs up button. Um, yeah, just peace out, stay strong, keep fighting, and keep your mind strong. All right, lots of love. Bye.